Hello, Alex. So, a few days ago, when we were talking late after an evening of discussing food and Taskmaster, you stuck out your arms to show me your t-shirt tan is gone, and you said, that's how long this winter has been. And we were both tired, and you were maybe sleep-talking at that point, but that rang in my sleepy head like a bell. It has been such a long winter, metaphorically, and I want to make a video about spring. When daylight savings time started, or ended a few weeks back, we really crash landed into spring here. For once, I wasn't tired, I was just angry and afraid, and still angry, actually, to have to wake up and shuffle myself into something presentable for work in the dark, or at the 7pm sunlight that reminds me that this space is not as sealed as it feels. I'm still afraid sometimes to cross the highway walking. So I don't walk to work or for fun, even though the spring flowers are blooming on trees downtown. They take me back three years to a better spring, but they can't always outweigh my reflexive fear. I'm angry and I'm afraid about how unsettled I still feel here, how homesick I get for places I can't reach right now. Lately I've watched several of the videos Taylor from It's Radish Time on YouTube makes including her really excellent postcard series that John recommended on Vlogbrothers a while back. I really recommend it too. It's great, and you should definitely check it out. She's made several videos recently about the difference that walking outside has made for her mental health during this, but also about how important it can be for connecting to the place that you are. Walking usually makes me feel at home too. I've learned that again and again over the last few years. Usually walking next to you, Alex, in big cities thousands of miles away, or small towns a handful of hours away. But even though I know taking more walks can help so much, I don't. Maybe the fact that doing things that are good for you is still really hard is one of those profound adulthood realizations I'm supposed to be having right now, but honestly, it's just especially inconvenient as I try to deal with all the unasked for changes that the transition of seasons has brought me this year. I find myself feeling over and over again like I have to relearn how to take care of myself, how to make sure there's food I can eat at my house without panicking at the grocery store, how to breathe while I cross the street, how to fall asleep, how to resurface. It makes me feel completely alone, and if I'm not careful, I start to believe that, and winter seems longer and longer. But I want to believe, instead, that the spring changes can be good, not just scary. I want to believe in the promise of spring. So I come away from Taylor's video reminding myself that I'm not alone, actually, and sometimes that's enough to at least make me think about getting out of my apartment. But I'm really lucky because I can't always reassure myself, but you are always reminding me that you're here for me too, even if we're countries apart. We may not be walking side by side, distracted by a dog or a destination the way we used to be, but honestly, this week it's really helped me the way you've held me accountable for taking care. You reminded me that I needed to eat on Thursday, and I promised you I'd make soup on Friday and buy groceries on Saturday, which remains frustratingly hard, but it was easier, somehow, if I imagined you there with me, apart but together, again. That might be really weird, but I don't know what part of this spring or my brain space isn't weird at this point, so I'm going to take a walk today, and I'm telling myself we're taking it together. I need to try a new home on for size, and I'm going to do it by taking some time to pay attention to all the things around me. New flowers, grasses, cracks in the sidewalk, sounds of birds and passing cars, the way the sun looks in the sky, the places I can go if I just change my situation a little and take some different steps. This video is how I decided to invite you along with me. Welcome to my place. Welcome to your space. Welcome to spring.
have a feeling the next few weeks might be overwhelming for you, and I really hope they're not, but if they are, I hope this walk in a different and hopefully calmer space can help out somehow. I hope I can be there for you like you've been there for me. I'm so grateful that I will get to see you soon, Alex. Bye.